Good morning. It's Neil the Barbarian Dad and I'm out here on a nice beautiful Sunday spring morning getting things ready for planting. Doing And not only that, doing uh, getting the chicken pen ready that I showed you on my other video. Finally able to get to that. I'm also out here. It's pretty cold. Well, not too bad. Probably in the 40s. Getting some sun on my skin. Trying to up my vitamin D because it's low. And the best way to do it is get out the sun a little bit. So, yesterday I went out with my tractor and I got a great big pile of compost, some horse manure. Some of this isn't done yet. I got a little bit off the top, just kind of mix it in for the chickens. But um, most of this is really good quality black compost. Unfortunately, it's pretty wet out there, so it was difficult to uh, get too much on this little trailer that I have. But I'm hoping to work out a situation where I can get some more, um, a bigger trailer with a double axle so I can get more uh, weight on that. But anyway, got a big thing of compost and so I am putting it out here on the garden. And as you can see from where I have it so far, the chickens are starting to get into this and spread it out for me and kind of do that thing. So they're doing a little work. You can kind of see in the background right over there, right there. That chicken's out there. I just dumped that little load just a minute ago. So they're getting used to that and enjoying that and gonna put that in the soil for me. So I am gonna till this year. Uh, if you don't like that, too bad. Uh, but I'm gonna till all this stuff in, all this chicken stuff in. And I'm gonna plant a whole bunch of good, yummy things that my family likes. So that's gonna be good. But the idea of this is really a modified victory garden, right? I don't know if y'all ever heard of the victory gardens from World War II, but they you know, tried to encourage every suburban lot to have a little garden with some chickens next to it so you can move it back and forth. Well, mine's gonna be a huge victory garden with um, some gates and whatnot. And the reason why I have the fence in here is not just to keep the chickens in because that's helpful because I can uh, you know keep their efforts in a certain area but also protect them because we have multiple foxes raccoons possums all kinds of crazy stuff out here that I want to protect them from so we'll have the fence up we'll have electricity on the outside to keep things out and that'll be super helpful so that's what I'm doing back here in the background is uh, putting in a post so I started that yesterday and I'll put in some more posts today some gates and all kinds of some things. So this is kind of where we're at today. And I'm really excited. I've got Nick Ferguson from Homegrown Liberty coming out here for a half day this afternoon on his uh, consultation tour to come out and give me some pointers and make sure that I'm not doing something crazy out here as far as uh, some other design things that I have in mind. So uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Look forward to seeing him and getting his expertise and, you know, even though I've got a PDC from Jeff Lawton on his online course, you know, I don't design for a living. So I understand things at a high level concept. And I've listened to a ton of um, videos and, and lectures on permaculture. But at the end of the day, I'm not an expert, right? Uh, compared to most people, maybe. But I want, before I put something in, to have that expert opinion on there. So it's worth the consultation fee to have somebody out to help out and, and, and give you their wisdom and perspective, especially somebody like Nick Ferguson, who in the South uh, East and Southwest is gonna be probably one of the best and most experienced people out there. So really excited to have him. So look forward to seeing y'all later and uh, hope you've enjoyed this small tour, small video of what's going on. And I'll get you some more snapshots and photos and videos and things as we go along. Y'all stay uncivilized.